the grand final of the Eurovision Song Contest is officially underway, and beloved TV star Graham Norton is commentating on the UK coverage of the event. Graham has brought his witty quips and infectious personality to Eurovision since 2009, after he took over from the late Sir Terry Wogan, who was the commentator from 1971 until 2008. And while we're all used to seeing Graham on our TV screens interviewing celebrities on his chat show, the 60-year-old comedian is relatively private about his own life away from the cameras. In fact, he even keeps his relationship with his filmmaker husband Jonathan McLeod largely out of the spotlight, with the pair having a private wedding in July 2022. Graham and Jonathan married in an intimate ceremony with just close loved ones and some celeb pals in attendance at Bantry House in West Cork, Ireland. Although we know that the pair are married, details about their relationship remain a mystery to the public, with neither Graham nor Jonathan sharing any information about how they met or when they started dating. The pair were reportedly spotted together for the first time in December 2019, and were also seen stepping out together a few months after their secret wedding. But it wasn't until September last year that the TV host himself spoke about his wedding when he said it was a pleasant surprise for him to tie the knot as he assumed marriage would never be on the cards for him. He said, it's good so far, it would be awful if it wasn't at this stage, just a few months in, it'd like to think that even I could manage a few months. Him from that generation of gays who assumed it was never going to be on the cards. So, one, it's extraordinary that it can happen, I mean, I never gave up hope of finding the one. If it was a surprise, it was a pleasant surprise. The comedian also revealed that he and Jonathan chose to get married in his native Ireland specifically so that one important guest could make it, his 90-year-old mum, Rhoda. I got married this year and we had our wedding party near to where my mother lives in Ireland just so she could come, he explained, she wouldn't have been well enough to come to London so West Cork it was. And it made me very happy. It was reported at the time of the couple's wedding that Scottish singer Lulu was among those invited, and the star herself seemed to confirm the news when she took to Instagram to share a few snaps of Bantry House and Garden where the intimate ceremony was held. Well, here I am in Ireland, the shout singer told her followers as she made her way around the scenic grounds. Lulu praised the gorgeous views as she made her way to enjoy her breakfast al fresco, before treating her fans to some clips of herself continuing to explore the gardens post-wedding. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at your mirror at Trinidamirror.com.